Vector Calculus 1 Key Concepts in 5 Minutes So the quantities can be divided into scalar quantity and vector quantity. Scalars are quantities that only have magnitude. For examples are mass, speed and electric field strength. But there are some other quantities which has a direction along with magnitude. Such quantities are called vectors. Examples are velocity, acceleration, virtually any type of force, frictional force, gravitational force, electric, magnetic force, etc. So normally we denote a vector by an arrow with a name indicating that. Here A is a vector and on the top of that we will write a small arrow indicating that it is a vector quantity. Okay, a vector is having a tail and a head. A vector A can have three components in x, y and z directions. So the components we will write A composed of AX, AY and AZ where AX is the component of A in x direction and uh, AY is the component in y direction and AZ is the component z direction. So in, the in order to indicate the direction we will use unit vectors along that direction i is the unit vector along x j is the unit vector along y and k is the unit vector along z direction which means that axi means ax is the component along x axis x direction ayj means ay is the component along y direction azk means az is the direct component along z direction so a vector can be represented as three component axi ayj and azk so this is a vector a there is another vector b so the sum of these vectors we will denote a plus b we can find using vector algebra so we can write a a equal to axi plus ayj plus azk and similarly we can write b as bxi plus byj plus bzk so what is the sum of a and b that is vector a plus vector b okay one more concept so the magnitude of any vector that we denoted means modulus and it is equal to root of ax square plus ay square plus az square that is the square root of s square of the component in along each direction the sum of component square of the component in along each direction which means that ax is the component along x direction its square plus the component along y direction is ay and its square plus component along z direction is az its square so the total sum and it is in the root so we will get the modulus of the magnitude of the vector a similarly the magnitude of vector b will be root of bx square plus by square plus and bz square so a vector divided by its magnitude that is vector a divided by its magnitude modulus of a we will get a unit vector in the direction of a okay so in order to find a vector unit vector in the direction of a given vector s first we need to find the modulus of the vector that is the magnitude of the vector and divide the magnitude that we will divide the a component a ax with that magnitude and ay with the magnitude and az with magnitude so we will get the component of unit vector in a direction of A. You will be understanding this concept when we are solving problems. So I am in this video I am just covering the basic equations and basic concepts. Okay so the sum of two vectors A plus B that uh, here I omitted the arrow but you consider this as vectors that's equal to AX plus BX I plus AY plus BY J plus AZ plus bzk that means that sum of two vectors is equal to the sum of x components plus
plus sum of y components plus sum of z component similarly a minus b it is that is the difference between a and b the distance between a and b it's equal to the vector showing the difference distance this ax minus bx i plus a y minus b y j plus a z minus b z k it is just adding or subtracting the component along the same direction so in order to find the distance between two vectors or two points so we need to find the magnitude of a minus b that is root of ax minus bx whole square plus ay minus by whole square plus az minus bz whole square i hope you understand the concept so now we are going to deal with the product of two vectors so a is one vector and b is another vector and the angle between a and b is theta okay so there are two products first product is cross product that the value a cross b we will denote it as a multiplied by b the into sign we will use but it is called a cross b that is equal to determinant of i j k a x a y a z b x b y b z so after finding the determinant we will get a vector value so a cross b results in a vector so the magnitude of a cross b we will normal magnitude of a into magnitude of b into sin theta and you please note that a cross b is not equal to b cross a so the unit the vector that results from a cross b is a vector normal to both a and b so in order to find the unit vector perpendicular to both a and b we need to find the cross product so we will get the vector perpendicular to a and b and divide by in order to get the unit vector we we need to divide the vector by its magnitude so we need to find the magnitude of that product and we will divide it with the product means product divided by its magnitude we will get the unit vector so the magnitude of the product is modulus of a cross b that is mod a into mod b into sin theta that is magnitude of a into magnitude of b into sin theta theta is the angle between a and b similarly there is one more product that is called a dot b or dot product so dot product will results in a scalar quantity so it will be just a number so how we will find the scalar scalar product or dot product just multiplied ax and bx plus ay and by plus az and bz so it will be just a number the magnitude of a dot b that we can write magnitude of a into magnitude of b into cos theta and uh, the dot product has the property that a dot b equal to b dot a we can simply prove the same with this example because ax into bx is equal to bx into ax and by into ay equal to ay into by so the a dot b whether it is a dot b or b dot a it will the magnitude will be same and it is just a scalar quantity which means that it has only one magnitude so you will get a number okay i hope you understand the concepts are clear so in the coming lecture we will be dealing with some higher level mathematics that is we will be dealing with the gradient divergence and curl and some other new ideas you can watch the next video thank you for watching thank you